It's a two-pronged battle. Fight to hold the virus and to protect the economy. The world is faced with falling prices of crude oil. The implication is that the largest economy in Africa is hard heat. The president's committee to assess how much the pandemic is eating into the country's finances is at the villa with an update. As you know, the crude oil price in the global market has gone much lower than the $30 per barrel that we had earlier on anticipated. So it means for us a further review on what we, on the measures that we need to uh, to take. So basically it's just giving an update of where we are and what we need to do. In spite of the obvious cash crunch, the president gave these marching orders. His directive is make sure salaries are paid, make sure critical infrastructure uh, projects like roads, rails um, are, are protected. As much as possible, use local inputs so that we uh, we retain value within, within our economy and also make sure that you have measures that protect the poor and the vulnerable. Meanwhile, Mrs. Ahmed and Hatim are members of the Economic Sustainability Committee chaired by Vice President Professor Yemeo Shibajo. The VP's first task is to inaugurate the committee. I'd like to just welcome you and say without further ado that we consider ourselves uh, inaugurated and ready uh, to go to work. Before the meeting went into a closed session, Professor Shibajo speaks on what's ahead. Revenues uh, have fallen precipitously. Uh, of course, uh, also domestic revenues have also fallen. So we are at a, a very uh, critical and uncertain time in, 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 our, uh, economic, uh, in our economic history and even in our history as a nation. There are no immediate comments on the outcome of the committee's meeting. From the presidential villa in Abuja, Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News.